My greetings, dear colleagues, dear Presidium. Thanks a lot for the opportunity to speak at this uh, important conference. I'd like to tell you about the resection margins at Oncoplus 10. In the modern world, uh, uh, mastectomy, classical mastectomy, is more and more rare. Usually there are organ preserving uh, surgery or they use uh, different endoprocesses. According to the polls, uh, including uh, the info coming from Petrov Institute, uh, patients prefer organ saving surgery and uh, own uh, usage of own tissues. That's done due to systemic uh, therapy before the surgery that enables to bring down the stage to diminish the size of the tumor. Hence, the organ uh, sparing surgery may be conducted more frequently. Earlier, we were afraid of the risk of local relapse after neoadjuvant treatment. What's to be done if the initial stage was a three and later it converted into two or one? And whether it's uh, possible that local uh, relapses get more uh, recurrences and get more frequent. No, the big meta-analysis uh, proved that uh, there's no difference uh, if um, this correction on a clinical stage uh, and uh, local relapses are not getting more frequent. Uh, the main factors that impact uh, the risk of uh, local uh, relapse is uh, age under 50, stage 3 or higher, G3, lymphovascular invasion, and the main thing, positive resection margin. But it's not um, related to neoadjuvant systemic therapy. In the year 05, it was uh, uh, mentioned that uh, the tumors react two ways. Two responses are possible, either concentric diminishing according to the type of narrowing or regression or according to the uh, type of melting snow. Here comes the question, how should we conduct the organ sparing surgery? At present, at concentric of a type of narrowing, uh, there is removed only the residual node. If it's um, uh, the uh, snow melting type, uh, just uh, the uh, bed of the tumor is uh, removed. What if uh, there's a complete pathological regression? Uh, should we not touch it at all or remove the bed completely? Uh, well, we conduct the trials to get the answer. There's a randomized uh, trial conducted in our institute as well. We use the VAP technology at um, achievement of a complete regression of tumor and its removal. Uh, what should be done before uh, planning of the neoadjuvant systemic um, uh, therapy? Uh, first of all, uh, there should be made correct uh, uh, determination, what's uh, planned in future for this patient. Um, first of all, uh, we do the tattoos on the skin and uh, um, metal clips are installed either along the margins of the tumor or if you don't have enough clips, then at least in the center of the tumor. This will enable you, when you achieve complete regression, where the tumor used to be initially. Well, a uh, single center uh, prospective uh, trial was of two methods was conducted um, and uh, uh, tattoos uh, cause uh, higher volume of resected tissue than metal clips. That's all very important because excessive uh, removed healthy tissue doesn't enable us to have good um, aesthetic effect. But one should always understand that the tumor has to be removed completely. No way to leave uh, tumor cells in the resection margins. Uh, no cells with uh, die because positive resection uh, margin uh, doubles the risk of local relapse. Uh, we've done a big meta-analysis of what happens at um, finding the positive resection margin. In 25% of cases, this causes secondary surgeries. 
That's the data of the other researchers. The frequency of um, repeated surgeries varies from 10 to 48 percent. This is the data from Petrov Institute, our department. We've analyzed um, info for two years um, from 2,000 patients. Um, uh, we've um, uh, done 7, 3, uh, 735 organ sparing surgeries, uh, and uh, only 30 patients had positive rejection uh, margins. So they had secondary surgery, but the percentage is pretty low. How did we uh, how manage that? First of all, surgery is planned timely. And this enables to minimize the risk of the secondary surgery and to improve the aesthetic result. Um, we use uh, tattoos, uh, uh, tattoo marking on skin and clips. They were installed uh, along the edge of the primary uh, tumor before the uh, adjuvant or systemic treatment. Uh, uh, metal conductors were used if uh, tumors are not palpated. Uh, that'll uh, be helped by the ultrasound expert who can do the marking of the tumor projection using just a usual marker. That will enable to better find out uh, where is the primary location of unpalpable tumor. Next, uh, at surgery, it's a must to install the metal clips along the removed bed so that better radiotherapy is planned later on. And the removed sector is x-rayed. After the sector is removed, we do the staining of all the resection uh, margins with a certain colors uh, so that if uh, something positive is found, we should understand which of the margins is that and so that the second operation is planned correctly. Marop in his study, Marop in his uh, presentation, uh, mentioned that organ sparing surgery may cause a 34 percent uh, a relapsant conversion down to mastectomy, and part of the women refuse uh, to have organ sparing um, surgery. They prefer mastectomy because they don't want a relapse and a secondary surgery. At the meeting of the year 14, they've uh, asked how to assess the uh, cleanliness of the resection mar margins. Uh, most of the surgeons said that they don't uh, anyhow during the surgery. It shouldn't happen. The clinic uh, should have good understanding of how to avoid it. Um, however, at present, uh, the following uh, methods exist uh, to determine the cleanliness of the margins. That's cytology, a swab printer, distology, radiology, uh, different uh, modern optical methods, but not all of them are available in Russia. Electromagnetic uh, um, measurement of impedance. The simplest method is swab print. That's a simple and fast procedure. It takes less than a quarter of an hour. Sensitivity and specificity are, are comparable to the freshly frozen um, um, sections, but for that you need a good cytologist, a DCIS, who may have complications, and you can't determine how close you are to the resection margin. And uh, there's the low negative um, um, forecasting um, uh, value. Uh, freshly frozen material, for that you need um, special equipment. And you can assess the involvement of alveol and nipple complex. Uh, uh, Petrid disease, it's useful, and usually at subcutaneous mastectomies. Um, but for that, you need a well trained morphologist. It's a lengthy um, test, it may take up to nearly half an hour. And only the isolated part of the resection model may be studied. Um, most frequently, we used x ray of the uh, surgery material. It enables us to visualize the tumor in the a remote um, in the removed uh, sector after the organ sparing um, surgery. Interop MRI system is not existing in Russia. They say it's mobile, compact, and 
enables it to assess the resection margin even with no experts present in several minutes only. Optical coherence spectroscopy. It's a high resolution spectroscopy. The principle is similar to ultrasound, but instead of the sound wave to form the image, they use the near infrared emission. And this enables to assess the depth of penetration as well, up to two millimeters. Romanov, um, Romain, um, uh, spectroscopy. It's a research that enables to determine the difference of tissues on the basis of a morphology and uh, biochemical differences. Um, Raman spectroscopy. Uh, specificity is about 83%, sensitivity is around 93%. Um, lobular carcinoma. Specificity uh, 100, uh, sensitivity 86, um, uh, luminar 174 accordingly, benign, etc. Margin probe dune oncology. It only exists abroad, we don't have it. And enables to bring down the repeated surgery. But specificity is less than 70%. And, and it just um, makes bigger the volume of removed tissues. That's the CSM, or the so-called shaven edge, or margin uh, procedure. If we suspect uh, invasions in any resection margins, pathomorphologists participate, are involved. Uh, freezing is necessary. This enables to bring down uh, the frequency of positive margins and the frequency of repeated surgeries from 34 to 19 percent. Uh, Dutch uh, researchers recommend uh, since the year 2008, it's in the guidelines, uh, that's pretty brave of them. Uh, they say that at the focal positive uh, uh, resection margin of less than four millimeters, they do not do the resurgery and only do the radiotherapy of such patients. Uh, they provided the data that uh, repeated surgery uh, after the long follow-up, the uh, frequency of uh, local relapse is uh, uh, one th and, uh, 33 percent, and if with uh, radiotherapy only, it's pretty uh, low, and it's only 2.6 percent. Well, thus um, we can tell that all the procedures of um, assessment are good, but they, use, uh, they should be used uh, rationally at certain conditions. Uh, CSS uh, shaven edge is at uh, over 30 percent, over 15 percent, freshly frozen uh, sections over 15 percent. Um, just use the common sense. Uh, conclusions. Uh, organ sparing surgery is a highly effective method of treatment, uh, providing good results and providing high quality of patients' life, according to many polls. Um, it's necessary to introduce into practice of each clinic of the protocol of assessment of removed material, dissected material, to bring down the risk. And for that, a multidisciplinary team is necessary, including radiologist, pathologist, ultrasound expert, and of course, oncologist. Who are planning the um, surgery intervention metal um, conductors should be used? Installation of metal clips, some tattoos should be used. And for the intersurgery control of the resection margins, the digital two position sector graphy, I mean the x ray. At pathology assessment, the surgeon should mark the resection margins with special dyes. Thanks a lot for your attention.